It's our big story at six. State lawmakers say they're close to a budget deal that would expand the private school voucher program to schools statewide. A decision is expected from the Joint Finance Committee tomorrow. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live in the newsroom with the latest. Stacey, the new proposed deal will not just be the original nine school districts. Now, voucher enrollment will start at 1,000 in 2014, but opposition say that could change down the road. The school voucher expansion plan almost at a close. Taking a uh, turn in terms of the plans for vouchers. The new compromise proposal, not the same as the original. No more than 1% of any district students would be lost. Not a very good idea. But Democrats say that doesn't mean it won't change. Now it's going to be statewide, limited in the beginning, but down the road it could be unlimited. Supporters of voucher expansion stand by public schools. We protect uh, our public schools, we invest in those. But also choice as well. There are some children that do need a, a different educational opportunity, and I think we need to address those as well. Make adjustments appropriately. Green Bay School Board President Brenda Warren is prepared for expansion, but says the funding isn't unlimited for two tiers of schools. Looking at decreasing funding for public education uh, at a time where we've already had decreased funding over the last couple of years, significant decrease in funding. But lawmakers look to make a compromise deal to make both sides satisfied. Now, Representative Steinecke says he expects an outline by tomorrow morning on school vouchers before heading into other issues like tax cuts and Medicaid. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Alex Hagan, NBC 26. Thank